Previously on Toasty's Rap Battle Reviews. This is not fit at all. Rogue literally just used the same exact mortar. I, I, I don't care. Who cares? The lyrics. Fuck you. Overall rating. One out of ten. You really have to get on my shit list if I give you a one out of ten. So a couple weeks ago, I reviewed the rap battle Mordecai vs. Twilight Sparkle by Epic Rap Battles of Cartoons. Let's just say I was less than pleased, but I am hoping that the sequel is good. And luckily after this, I will only have one more battle from that trilogy to review. So let's not just, let's just get right into it. So it starts off with an intro sequence that takes place directly after the first battle where, you know, Mordecai flies out the window and it says after 15 battles and it shows Mordecai just flying through the air. But wait, it said five months ago, right? So wouldn't that technically mean that Mordecai has been flying for five months? Am I overthinking this? I probably am. There isn't really much to say about this intro other than Matthew's whisper screaming like, Ah, oh, backward bottles of cartoons! But, you know, a lot of people did that back then, so I'm not going to dog on Matthew specifically. Um, one positive about this is the beat actually feels more fitting for Mordecai and Twilight Sparkle, so one point to the sequel. Going for this piece of shit again. My sentiments exactly, Mordecai. And even worse, you are roar, and that will be sin. This line is weird to me because it sounds weirdly wrong, and that'll be a sin. Don't you mean to say, and that's a sin? I feel like that would have made much more sense and more grammatically correct. And that will be sin. You now have wings, so I have to cut your wings off too and turn you into burger I meat. Mean, you. Did we already do this joke in the first video? Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, it was more directed towards Rainbow Dash, but still. Turn you into burn on me, you miserable pile of spooch. If you haven't figured out already, Matthew is voicing Mordecai again, like I said in the previous review. Um, however, his voice sounds a bit more irritating this time. I don't know. Maybe it's just because his voice is a lot higher pitched, so I think it just sounds incredibly irritating or something. I just, I'm not used to hearing Matthew with like that high of a voice. And um, another thing, I think he did all this in one take because at certain moments he has to pause and like take a breath and it happens all throughout his verses. And I know I sound like I'm out of breath all the time, but it's something that has happened to me ever since I was born and I cannot control it. But that's besides the point. Mordecai, you will die, you brainwash guys for the to buy stupid shit. That's super hard to find. So this is a good diss on paper because, you know, bronies, they're pretty well known to buy really rare and extremely expensive My Little Pony merch. Like, look at these eBay prices. What the fuck? Anyways, so yeah, this is a good line on paper. However, the way it's written and how it was delivered is a little jarring. Like saying that Twilight brainwashes people, which is fucking not true. It's just people love My Little Pony so much. So, you know, solid diss, it, but it could have been reworded better. Hard to find Celestia made you a princess because she was doing cocaine. Forgetting this deal makes you fucking insane. What does this line exactly mean? No, like, I'm genuinely curious. Can can somebody type in the comments what this exactly means? Because I'm just confused. Now rip off your horn and shove it up your cranky doodle ducky. Okay, so this is kind of where the battle loses me. As so far, the lines were okay. They weren't particularly great or, hell, not even good. But they're, you know, okay. They're an improvement from the first one. But this line specifically... Uh, it's just the random act of violence threat 
line that we've gotten in like multiple of these battles. And yes, we did have that earlier, but at least it was backed up with some other okay-ish lines. And shove it up your cranky doodle dug it's not pony though. It's a world of cunty. A world of cunty. That is a phrase I never thought I would have to hear in my life, let alone a Mordecai versus Twilight Sparkle rap battle. Wow, world of cunty. If the previous line didn't make the battle lose me, this one definitely would. Good news for me, you'll be fucking disappointed. Me and Margaret Kiss, and now we are in relationship. Why would Twilight of all people be disappointed in that? Is it because in the previous battle, she said that your relationship with Margaret could have worked out? Wait, I just answered my own question. Why did I put that in there? <laughs> I am the champion, you are a fucking failure! Eh, the accomplishments she made in the show say otherwise. I mean, she became a princess for fuck's sake. She went from a simple student to a princess. That doesn't sound like a failure. You are not a hero, saved Eileen from the death bear. Princess Twilight's murder, your rhymes are fucking sour. How are her rhymes sour? She hasn't even rapped yet. Unless if you're just trying to find a rhyme for... Now get down on your knees and suck the power! Yep, what I thought. Here, Princess Celestia, tell this bird to piss off. Yeah, same. Because then I won't have to review this battle anymore. Come on, Princess Celestia. P Celestia? C come on. I, I really don't want to review the rest of this. No? Okay. Tell this bird to piss off. This person is cheaper than a cupcake shop. I mean, yeah, of course a person is going to cost less than an entire shop. Shops are expensive. Unless if I'm missing something in the MLP universe, and in which case cupcake shops are just really cheap, or th maybe Twilight meant something else, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even get why people ship us. Because it's the internet, Twilight, and no matter what happens, whatever universe you're in, even if the universes are completely separate, there's always going to be a ship. The internet will find a way. I don't even get why people ship us. Are they stupid? Oh well, at least I have wings like a Valentine's Day Cupid. I don't even get why people ship us. Are they stupid? Oh well, at least I have wings like a Valentine's Day Cupid. Like a Valentine's Day Cupid? Don't you just mean like a Cupid? It's not even that great of a comparison anyways. Me and Shining Armor, one part one. Mm, that's debatable. I found y'all's lines incredibly stupid equally. So I'll win part two. Hell, even Derpy Hooves is more smarter than you. Okay, so she clearly said is more smarter than you, which, by the way, very good. Very good grammar is there. But the subtitles say is more stupider than you, which again, grammatical failure. And secondly, it does not match. So what happened? What's the matter, diaper boy? You want a caca on Margaret? What? What? This is another. What the fuck does this mean moment? No, seriously. What, what does this mean? Like, explain. What's the matter, diaper boy? You want a caca on Margaret? Good time on you. It makes me puke. Okay, I am just starting to sound like a broken record at this point. But again, this is grammatically incorrect. It makes me puking. That doesn't really make any sense. And it doesn't even rhyme with Margaret, so... It makes me puking. You couldn't even get a handshake from Margaret's dad. He made me wear a yellow Speedo, and that was really bad. I don't really have anything else to say about these lines. Moving on. You're in a relationship with Margaret? How much did you pay her? When I heard that line, my mind immediately went to Ronald McDonald versus Santa Claus by Kyle J. Rat Battles. Which is funny because Kylie herself used to be a brony in the community. At least, that's what I know. I'm a princess, what are you, a prune purse? I... I have no other things to say except to repeat this joke. This is another, what the fuck does this mean moment. Are you even considered a badass? Cause you really are not. When did he ever say that he was? Do you think you're really cool cause you're smoking pot? I, I don't know where Twilight Sparkle gets the whole Mordecai smokes pot thing cause I don't think he does in any of the episodes, unless if you're referencing two in the AM, PM, but even then, they were taking shrooms, not pot. I did this all in round, we'll do it today. You already said this line. A bit differently, but you still said the same line. Applejack calls you, hey, that's why she says it's time to hit the- Applejack hasn't said a single line in this battle. Hey. Oh shit, you kind of small like fucking ski- Wow. 
four curse words in a matter of just two seconds. Just, wow. Bravo. Bravo. Shows like the best VHS in the world lied to me. How did Twilight lie to you? Like, huh? I'm a party animal and you're just a plain animal. Um, no she is not. I don't consider talking ponies who can fly and have magical powers plain. Just a plain animal. I'm in a video game. Your game is about you teaching educational. <sighs> Again, with the grammatical failures. Here. Let me rewrite this line for you. My video game is fun while your game's just educational. Boom. It rhymes with the previous line and it makes grammatical sense. I'll make your brain explode into a million pieces. Want a fresh and mortar shake that start with my penis? <laughs> nope. 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 Oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. Thanks for that mental image, dick. I'm gonna wrap it up. So I see what you did there. I'm gonna wrap it up. So here's my final line. I'm sad that you're a princess, cause you won't die! Uh, what is going on? I'm a human now. So uh, why is Twilight a human? I mean, I get it, reference to equestria goals, but there's like... Little to no references for of Equestria Girls, except for, like, maybe one about Sunset Shimmer. But that's, like, about it. Like, there was literally no point in making Twilight a human. D just, d you could have just kept her a pony. I'm a human now, so please stop your complaining. You're complaining about what? Explain. Your rap style is worse than when- Okay, Matthew, point of advice- don't use clips that have subtitles in it already. And I'm not talking about the subtitles for the battle. I mean subtitles for the episode of the clip that you're using. Your rap style is worse than when Rarity was handling rain. Okay, you see my point here? They used a clip from the show where they were still ponies and was making a reference to the show where they were still ponies. So why not just keep Twilight a pony? Defeat Sunset Shimmer, and now I'll defeat you every time you get rejected. Yeah, because it sure looks like he's getting rejected into this clip. Look, if you want to do a rejected by Margaret line, fine. I mean, it's overused, but fine. But at least use a clip of, oh, I don't know, Mordecai being rejected by Margaret. Every time you get rejected, you'll always turn blue. I mean, isn't that how most people feel after getting rejected? Everybody's lives you only saved one. Your love is not blue. You don't even have love. Oh my god, they reused two of the same clips from the previous lines for this part. I take this important message down for Celestia. I learned something today. Blue Jay suck. Who won? Who's next? Unison! And that was Twilight Sparkle versus Mordecai 2. Yeah, this battle was a mess. I mean, it's better than the first one, but not by much. The editing was minimalistic, and there was a ton of reused clips. Like, a ton, maybe more than the last one. The voice acting was better, but... But not by much, I felt Mordecai's voice was very irritating. And, you know, Twilight's VA was not bad, but not particularly great. The big thing that I did not like was the lyrics. A lot of grammatical failures and a ton of pointless references, which, with this kind of battle, with these kinds of universes, there's so much material to work with. So this could have been so much better. Overall, 3 out of 10. Not the worst thing in the world, but could have been better. I am Toasty, signing off. I will see you in part 3.